coming up today on Truth Loader's live Wednesday show, Saving Private Snowball. Supermarket scandal horses get their revenge. And teenage mutant ninja poodles. Hello and welcome to Wednesday and Truth Loader and live on Wednesday. Hmm. All the best of the week, which we didn't have a chance to show you fantastic videos from around the web, some of which you might have seen, hopefully most of which you won't have seen. I'm Sam. And I am Laura. And we have a brand new name for this show. We I think, do. Sam, don't we? we do. We took your suggestions from last week. We put them through the mill and we came remodeled up with, uh, remodeled them a bit. And we came up with Truth Loaders Wednesday show. <laughs> which... We're still taking right. suggestions for better names, but for the moment it's Wednesday, this is Truth Loader and hopefully it'll come out like some kind of show. So yeah. we thought let's put it on the tin. The Wednesday show. The Wednesday <laughs> show. So anyway, we've got loads of great video That's coming up so for you this week. It's been a good week for video and we've started off with some snow because Yay. it's snowing. Everyone loves snow. Everyone loves snow. Everyone else in the world just has snow mm. and it's a kind of weather. Yeah. Um, We've decided in Britain that snow is something apocalyptic. Mm. So we get very excited. But first, we're going to go to Seattle because actually there wasn't enough snow in Britain for anything exciting to happen, apart from the trains to stop, air plots to freeze up, and plenty of people to scream that it was the end of the world. But in Seattle, in the USA, they set a world record. And how about this for a snowball fight? 6,000 people, DJs, and, the world, and uh, well, hopefully you've bought some gloves because it's the world's largest snowball fight. Well, Sam's dancing, so he's having a good time. That was incredible. I want to be part of that. Six thousand people. That's amazing. <laughs> we get enough snow for about one snowball in England. So. Yeah, if you look at that, that's like all of those snowballs are the amount of snowflakes that we get. Yeah, And it's enough much. to cause <laughs> chaos. <laughs> oh, but I want to be involved in that. I know. I want to have a DJ Me and too. snowball fight. I can tell you want a DJ. <laughs> you were loving that. <laughs> DJ DP on the ones and twos. Oh, yeah. Um, did you see the video earlier this week? We'll try and put, um, we'll put something in the description so that you guys can go and check yes. it out at home. Um, there was some kids throwing snowballs at some firemen in a canal somewhere in Northern England. I think it was Leeds. Did, did you see, see that? You saw this. It was incredible. <laughs> These kids, six or seven, throwing snowballs at the firemen mm -hmm. and the firemen turned their hoses <laughs> off yeah. the children. Yeah, them right though. <laughs> yeah. Bringing a snowball to a water fight. I think they Idiot. should have learned a lesson, it. hopefully. <laughs> Anyway, let us know what you think. If you've had a snowy experience so far, if you're enjoying the winter, or if you're in a beautifully hot part of the world and you've never seen snow before. Yeah, maybe uh, Australia. Australia, yeah, I think they get that Hawaii. Snow. Let us know in a comment and make us intensely jealous of your wonderful, yes. wonderful tropical existences. Anyway, of course, not everything that happens in the snow is clean, safe fun. And we've got some footage of someone having a wee whoopsie in Russia. Oops. Check out this dash cam footage from Vladivostok, which is a lesson in why you should always check your tyres before you set off into the snow. I'm feeling quite speechless, I'm not really sure what to say about that. There's just so many questions. Why Why would you drive back mm -hmm. down the road? Why would you hit a car? Mm -hmm. Why was someone filming it from their car? It's just, <laughs> oh, it's too much. I can't go with it. Uh, I think what you need to remember here is that in Mother <laughs> Russia, brakes break you. Great. Right. I think what's happened there is the guy's <laughs> gone up the hill. He's, uh, he's tried to stop at the top of the mm -hmm. hill and he's not got winter tyres on and he's just come right the way back down and once you start going you're just oh, not okay. gonna stop and that's why people have these dash cams in Russia because mm -hmm. there are so many accidents but he managed to park safely at the end so oh, that's good. Good for him. <laughs> barely, barely a scratch 
fortunately the guy in this video was absolutely fine by the way uh, so it's funny and we can yeah. laugh about it it's fine laugh away <laughs> incidentally if you at home have seen any amazing dash cam footage or if you've got some then please do send it to us because we love your videos we love your comments and we want to hear from you and uh, hopefully at some point we'll have some comments coming up mm -hmm. and we'll be able to show you those on screen we might have adam joining so i'll get a little word in my ear i can click my fingers like that and he'll appear mm -hmm. and have something magical to say from you at home and everyone wants to see adam so make sure you comment everyone wants yeah. to see adam <laughs> from cars to bikes now nice we love adam yeah. he's so cute, he is very cute. Uh, from cars to bikes <laughs> and if you've ever been caught at an airport check-in lounge you'll know it's not the most exciting place in the world to be so check out these estonian guys who've got an unorthodox way of getting around at prague airport Final call for passengers of Air France and Delta Airlines flight AA1383 to Paris gate D. Sorry. <laughs> That's about pretty the fourth or fifth time I've seen that now, and every time I just crack up. I know it's coming, but I can't help it. It's just brilliant. And probably what is my favourite bit is not necessarily the men cycling, although that is great, genius. But it's the little people that follow behind them that are about half the height of the bike and have no idea what's going on. And I think have little hats. It's just great. I just love it. I just think it's wonderful. <laughs> yeah, let's cycle. Let's cycle round on each other. Yeah. Perfect. There's actually there's a follow up to that video they've done. This was actually filmed in May last year and it's only just become big. It deserved to be big much, mm -hmm. much sooner. But they just released That's another amazing. video of them rally driving around one of the luggage pickup conveyors. Oh, we will try and put a link for that. Yes, next it Wednesday. Get it on Sam. Good. <laughs> it is absolutely <laughs> wonderful. To the animal kingdom now. And what happens when a dog meets 5,000 geese? One dog. And... Who knows how many thousand geese? So can you guess what's going to happen? Uh, well, maybe, <laughs> but I still want to see it. <laughs> I think you can guess what's going to happen. One doggy, five thousand geese. Uh, and we should say this isn't quite Fenton Mark II. No. But I think the guy possibly has pretensions that it might be Fenton Mark II, yeah. uh, but it's not. But it is pretty astonishing. Mm -hmm. Well, get him, stupid. Get him. There we go. <laughs> oh, Skeeter, you showed them. It's a lot of geese. I love that dog. A lot of geese. Who thinks, what dog thinks they can take on 5,000 geese? <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Clearly not that one. He took quite a bit of encouragement. Yeah, on, that is true. It was a narrator mostly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, him running towards. Yeah. Jesus I mean, Christ. maybe that is slightly dog abuse, letting your dog run at 5,000 geese. But, I mean, it was a great video. What an so. astonishing sight, though. I yeah. mean, like I said, we did speed that up slightly at the end just to get the feel of it as they all came mm. back over, but wow. Yeah. And the racket as well. I don't even know what, I mean, where, do you know where that was filmed, Sam? I don't, it was somewhere in North America, yeah. but I don't have it to hand. We will put a link to all of the videos that you're seeing today, mm -hmm. though. We'll put a link in the bottom in the description. That'll appear at some point, hopefully in the next hour or so. And we'll be able to uh, point you in the direction of all of these videos so you can find out for yourself and share them with your friends and share this with your friends. <laughs> and if you're liking what you're seeing, then subscribe because we do some amazing stuff. Yeah, like the Wednesday show. Like the Wednesday show. And the Thursday show at 7 o'clock on Thursday, we have a debate. We do. What's it about this week, Lauren? The debate is it's on online piracy and are we wasting our time trying to stop it? Um, lots of people think, you know, we're never going to be able to stop online piracy, so what's the point in wasting all this money on it? And other people even think that, you know, online piracy is a good thing, which is, yeah, so it should be good. All sides of the debate. So if you've got a feeling on this, then please do get involved. We'll be having people from all spectrums from, uh, I think, hopefully we'll be having kind of struggling musicians and yep. record label people and mm -hmm. pirates, uh, pirateers. Yeah, we've got some of them pirate parties as well. Oh, fantastic. Exciting. Hopefully they'll be wearing oh. a, a pirate hat and maybe being in a pirate boat. Who knows? Maybe we should do that. Maybe we should kind of bring in some kind of truth loader uniform, kind of mm -hmm. pro and anti each week yeah. on the debate. Everyone's, Make everyone, them wear it. You've you got will a hat. wear it, otherwise you're not coming on.
put it on. <laughs> Hufflepuff and Griffin. Oh no, let's not get into Take that. Take weird directory. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right. And then on Friday, uh, it's the investigate. And this week we've got uh, an interview with the guy who's going to put an inflatable module on the International Space Station. And hopefully we'll be looking at a study at Cambridge University into whether robots and computers are going to destroy us all. A serious study that we will be looking into on Friday. So join us on Friday at four o'clock for the Truth Loader Investigate Friday thing that we do. Mm -hmm. And on Monday, we've got your comments. So please send them to us and we will read them out. And then uh, on Tuesday, we've got a guest vlogger. Yes. Not sure that we knew who that will be yet. We'll keep you updated on that stay one. stay tuned, <laughs> as always. Uh, and yeah, we'll be posting everything up on Facebook and Twitter, as always. And our new favourite thing, Google+. Plus. Google+. Plus. Yeah. Yeah. So join us on Google+, Plus <laughs> and we'll invite you to everything. Thousands have. Yeah, thousands. Google. Thousands now on Google+. Plus. Yes. yes, and we're not exaggerating. Anyway, moving on with more <laughs> video. Yeah. Yes, we've got I yet promise. more great video. But, oh, that went a bit meta there, didn't it? A bit profession, <laughs> almost professional for a moment. Anyway, we talked last week about uh, horsey beef burgers, and uh, there were lots of jokes going yes. around. Uh, are Tesco starting to mm -hmm. stock red rum next to their regular oh, rum? That kind brilliant. of thing. <laughs> Value burgers, just the same there. Anyway, they found horse meat in beef burgers, but now the horses have had their revenge. And it happened outside a supermarket in Israel. Well, this is brilliant, but I'm a bit confused about where the horses came from. I mean, do they just follow the scent of food, or what's going well, on? Apparently so. Apparently they were wild horses that came down from the hills and kind of started raiding the supermarket bins. I like to think that someone had just parked them up and gone inside, <laughs> left the keys in, left, left them the running, <laughs> yeah, just tied them up outside. I wonder what they were picking at though, hopefully not the beef burgers. Yeah. That would be oh, a bit weird, wouldn't it, on every conceivable it? level. Anyway, we just thought that was some quite cute footage. So if you have ever been in a supermarket and been ransacked by uh, or raided by wildlife, please do get in touch. Yeah. If, for example, you were buying Cheetos and got mauled by a cheetah, then we'd love to hear from you. Great example once of you're, that. Once you're yeah. out of hospital. <laughs> anyway, we've just got one thing to show mm. the good folks at home. And possibly the best. And possibly the best. We have saved the best till last. This mm -hmm. is a website. It is a website about a woman and her dog and her love for her dog, <laughs> which she expresses in what many would describe as a slightly bizarre way. A very special way. <laughs> very special. Uh, it's something of an online legend, this website. This is Sandra Hartness and her poodle, Cindy, from the Sandy Paws Pet Grooming Service in Yucca Valley, California. And what you can see here is that Sandy, uh, she likes to cut Cindy's hair for shows into lovely shapes. And what we've got here, we've got a, dr we've got a dragon. We've got, a, I think that's a breakfast, oh. a peacock. Is that a camel? It's I think a it's a camel. camel. Oh, wow. <laughs> Cindy is oh, the Cindy. luckiest dog in the world. But the, but the best one there, if you can see it, is a teenage that mutant is a teenage ninja. mutant ninja poodle. Wow. <laughs> what an astonishing thing. And I the do camel love the camel. There, close up. You could. You would. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if I had a poodle, I'd love to do that. I've only it's got cool. a very small cat. I think my options would be limited. <laughs> But I have to say, I would be tempted to give it a go and see what I could achieve with my limited canvas at home. Maybe. I'm, I'm concerned for your cat, that was Sam. <laughs> Dave, if you're watching, yeah. Dave is my cat, oh, by the way. If you're watching Dave, watch out, because I've got my eyes on you. Anyway, let us know what you think about that. A teenage yeah. mutant ninja poodle. Apparently the dog loves the attention. Mm, <laughs> how does she know, though? I'm not sure she knows. Well, I, what harm can it do? Yeah. It's not going to hurt the dog if she gets a bit of attention. Yeah, but I think it's pretty harmless. <laughs> If you've got a poodle and, and you've done something similar, please send us your photos or videos, which we <laughs> always love, and maybe we can show them next week on the next Wednesday show. And if you want to see other people's poodles and any more of the great videos that we've found around the web this week, then do tune in next Wednesday and subscribe to our channel. It's the buttons around there somewhere. You can do it, or maybe there's one up there. <laughs> Who knows? It's wonderful. We, I, we, don't, we don't actually live in a YouTube page. Yeah. We should describe, we should uh, tell you that we're in a room. 
yeah. somewhere and we're just coming to you through the magic of the internet. Sorry, that's kind of spoiled it really, hasn't it? They have. They all thought we lived in YouTube, Sam. Look what you've done. There we go. Anyway, on that note, that's probably it from us today. I think just about. Come back tomorrow, 7 o'clock, where we'll be talking about piracy. Yes. See you Very then. Very exciting. Bye-bye.